Okay, so we have it 50% fill up with the gray screen um, layer. And we're going next to select to this soft light. This is will make uh, this layer is transparent inside the Photoshop. So 50% is one register. It's not highlights, it's not um, make shadows dark. So by using our brush with 10% softness, or even less in some cases, we can go even less. Now we can paint on our subject additional shadows or um, highlights. So I'm going to take down and you can see we again we're using soft brush and you can slightly start adding. First things what I do I look with natural shadows going so and I start adding in those areas. So I look right here maybe a little bit add on the cheeks around the eyes just look where the natural shadows going so we're enhancing we're not necessarily adding in this point we're just enhancing them and in some cases with female models you maybe want to add additional shadows but in this case I'm just adding a bit on the cheek a bit right here with eyes on nose you can always come even closer make brush smaller and you can brush uh, change by using square bracket left and right so it will modify it okay and while I'm retouching with a black I want to touch up a little bit make darker eyebrows and right here around the eyes add this digital makeup okay till we about eyes I'm going to convert to white and just pop up a little bit on the whites and also increase and pop up slightly on the eyes so I want them brighter next I will use a contrast to bring them down but I want to add details to them so I will bring them brighter when we have it white adds so let's just add some highlights and again normally what I added remember the items that you want kind of come out you can add a little bit white to these guys so we'll add a little bit highlights here on the sides and also one thing the white make it bigger and darker will make it look smaller so if you work with female and characters and you want to decrease or increase some parts you can always use a dark and white techniques to increase or decrease so lips okay, then we'll make highlight on the middle and the darker chest around this so what is happening again darker will be make it look as like far away and brighter will make look as closer so when we do this the lips now will look a little bit more puffer kind of more alive okay let's switch and you can always switch between both of them go back and forward try to modify and see okay, let's zoom out slightly anytime when you retouch you can switch it and just add or remove it more or less okay let's go right here before and after you can see how we reduce a little bit flatness and give it a little bit more dimension kind of you painting over again before and after okay so let's go on the neck here a little bit white and don't kind of say you can always very easy just follow natural lighting so it was added and just create a little bit highlights right here on the side okay now we can work on a dress and our clothes what I do usually I'm going first with the dark and where the shadows let's kind of enhance those shadows so like right here just add a little bit more to the areas on the shadows kind of add those wrinkles look add right here a little bit more Same, we can switch to the white 
and you can go with the smaller size usually my black or a shadow a bit bigger and the white will be smaller brush so a little bit more defined and the reason is why because black will go over and it's make blending a little bit nicer easy afterwards okay, so we we'll add right here let's go over and then some colors it's work better than other ones on red i'm not necessarily like how it's work but it will do the trick for us okay so right here and this example you can zoom out again right here you can see so it's ad lib to those wrinkles bring in let's go right inside here add some white and if you press x button you can switch between white and dark so you kind of jump between them when you need add shadows or add highlights so we can do this okay on a black let's go add because you like on a black it's a little bit easier to add okay we'll go right there add a little bit highlights Just touch up some of them. Okay, let's um, right here. Same. We can get dark, add lighter. Okay, now on the hands. So we'll go with the dark house. I usually I start with shadows. So I will add the shadows around the fingers because it's kind of far away. And if we add just a line on the middle, you can see it will create. We'll start bringing those hands out a little bit more. So we can go right here. Okay. Okay, let's do this way. Okay, so let's go ahead and add a little bit shadows. Right around here. And also you can go ahead check it you can see how it's a little bit more interesting painting effect um kind of dimension to this okay all right here darker let's add a little bit more highlights and right here i'm probably go add shadows let's add a little bit bigger highlight okay. just because i go follow the natural lines so what we do, we kind of almost enhancing some of those um, shadows because if we do with lighting at a studio, you need to spend a little bit more time. And for example, this is was shot with um, like photo booth. We have a lot of people that going at the same time. So you have a very short time. You cannot really set up lighting for each individual's um, type of clothes. So you need it have a general shooting and after you can add this afterwards okay let's go zoom out okay this is a look on the pants so you can see before after okay so let's go ahead closer on this hand now okay we'll go with the dark so i'm going to add size right between the fingers we'll go add a little bit more to this dimension right here x on the white so now add the highlights again just watch where is the highlights going right in these areas so again we'll go before after Okay, let's go to take on a hammer and on a white I'm just adding a little bit kind of effect to some areas to bring out sides of this hammer so we'll go to right here maybe a little bit more highlights I think this way will work nicer let's zoom out before or after yeah, I think we're kind of good with this character, except maybe just add a strip of highlights 
right in the middle. So we can have so kind of like give it us this limit roundish look. Okay, you can again go and retouch more depend on the model you're using. But well, actually, this is um, Dutch and Burns, so you kind of start bringing those elements. And far away, I don't like right by the cheek. Right here, it was look a little bit too dirty. So I'm going to increase with a wide, and I'm going to smooth slightly this area right here. Again, darken up slightly more. So kind of start blending without creating too much effect again let's go to zoom out okay let's look much better now okay. there you go okay zoom out okay so it's look better you can go back nice about this you can always go back and forward to the image so um, next step we'll add a little bit more details and we'll continue in next portion of the tutorials